Becoming competent. This is probably one of the most common pieces of advice you're gonna hear if you hang around in the self-improvement space for a while. And even though it sounds simple and straightforward, based on what I've seen, I don't think a lot of people actually understand how to become competent at, at anything really. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my take on it. Hopefully someone finds it valuable and learn something from it, all right? Now, I don't know the formal definition of competent, so I'm gonna give my own definition, and I would describe it as feeling comfortable performing a particular task. And going a step further, I would break it down into two parts specifically. One would be exposure to a new task, and the second one would be practicing that task. For example, think back to when you were first learning how to drive a car. Most people are nervous, you know, when, when they've never driven before about getting them on the driver's seat, going on the highway and things like that. And how, how do you build yourself up to that? Well, most parents will have you get, turn the car on before you go anywhere and, or turn it off because you start practicing, you start getting used to being on the driver's seat, you start getting used to the feeling of the car engine revving and all that. Eventually, they progress to letting you park the car inside the garage, take it out, small steps, right? But you're slowly building your, your level of how comfortable you feel performing that task. You're, now you're used to being in the car, you're used to moving the car. Eventually then they'll take you to an empty parking lot. So you get used to moving it around, driving around in the car and so on and so forth, right? Until you are driving in real traffic and all that. But there's a progression to it, but it all starts with You've never done the thing, the task, in this case, driving, and you start with exposing yourself to it for the first time, and then it just becomes a matter of repetition. You do it so many times until it becomes second nature. Pretty sure you don't, you don't even think about turning your car. You just get on and automatically turn it on, or you either push the button or turn the key, whatever, but you know what I mean. You don't think about it, it, it because you're competent at it. It's a simple example, but it applies to pretty much any skill out there. It could be writing, programming, playing a sport, whatever. You get better at it by re repetition, practice. Now, the reason why I think a lot of people struggle with this is because of modern world escapes such as Netflix and video games. Most people would rather l live through the main character of a series watching watching that person go through a, an, an epic adventure instead of going out and living one for themselves or are more willing to grind for hours on end leveling up a video game character instead of taking that time and learning a new skill and improving themselves. And what you're really doing is you're re limiting your exposure. It doesn't matter how many times you watch, I don't know, you watch someone ride a horse. Until you actually ride the horse, you're not gonna learn how to ride the horse or for example, one of my favorites, you can read about doing push-ups all you want, but until you do the push-ups, you're not gonna get better at push-ups. And I'm using all these random examples just to show that it applies to, to pretty much anything. If you've never uploaded a video to YouTube, record yourself and upload a video to YouTube. If you've never ridden a jet ski before, book a jet ski and ride one this weekend. You've never run a marathon, sign up for a marathon. Doesn't matter what it is. Life is about experiences. And the more experiences you go through, the more you build yourself up as an individual. And that is what naturally will lead to competency. You expose yourself to more things. And then once you have a set of things that you've exposed yourself to, then you can start to narrow down and repeat those on which you're naturally drawn to. It literally is that simple and not necessarily easy, but it is simple. Just do more things. That's it. Naturally, you'll grow as a person. The more you experience, the more situations you expose yourself to. It, it's, it's growth. It's, it's going to happen. So you better start working on the list of new activities you're going to be trying out this weekend because I want you to share them down in the comments below. Hopefully, you can inspire someone else or give new ideas to people. And with that being said, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not, please like and subscribe. That really helps me out and I will see you in the next one.